children? It's raining. Wow. Rain, rain, rain. Do you all love rain? I love rain so much. Do you love to play in the rain? Yes? Children, what all can you see here? Yes, a tree, green, green grass and a house. Okay, tell me, what are the different parts of a house? We have learned it before, right? What are the different parts of a home? Yes, what is this? Yes, a door. Then, what are these blue color ones? Yes, these are windows. And what is this? This is called roof. Also called housetop. It is also called housetop. Okay, children. Now, shall we sing a rhyme on rain? Are you ready for the rhyme? Yes. We will sing a rhyme about rain. About green grass, about house top, and about a tree. Are you all ready? Yes, you all have to sing with me with the actions. Okay? So here we go. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree. Repeat. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree. Rain on the house top, but not on me. Repeat. Rain on the house top, but not on me. Once again. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree. Rain on the house top, but not on me. Did you enjoy the rhyme? Yes, children, there are some others who are enjoying our rhyme as well as enjoying the rain. What all can you see here? Can you see some birds or can you see some animal over here? Who are all enjoying the rain? Yes, you can see a bird named quail and a snail and a bird parrot and rabbit. They are all enjoying the rain. See, can you see they are hiding something over them. See, parrot is hiding something here. Snail is hiding something. Even quail is also hiding something. We need to know what they are hiding, right? Okay, let me ask rabbit first. Oh, rabbit is not ready to show us. Okay, let me ask quail then. Quail is also not ready to give us. Now what will we do? Now we'll ask snail. Snail is asking us to solve one puzzle. But where is a puzzle? Mm. Yes, parrot is holding a bag. Let me ask her. Yes, parrot is ready to give us the bag. Yes, let me take the bag. Yes, children, we got the bag. Let me check what is inside the bag. Yes, we have some puzzles over here. Shall we solve the puzzle? Yes. Children, so here is our bag of puzzle. Let me take out the puzzles first. Yes, we have some jigsaw puzzles here. There are different pieces. We have to join them and solve the puzzle. Okay, let me take red color first. Okay, let me choose the red color one and see whether we could solve the puzzle or what. Okay. 
okay red color one I have taken it hmm? I got four red color pieces now let me check how to fix them hmm, I can't fix it yes yes we have solved our puzzle yes we got the letter P we have big letter P here children we got the big letter P we solved the puzzle and we got the big letter P and P makes a sound P repeat P makes a sound P and where is small letter P small letter P may be hiding somewhere here let us make the sound of P together okay let's make the sound of P together what's the sound of P P P P P P yes now parrot is ready to show us something yes parrot is hiding something yes we got the small letter p so children we got big letter p as well as small letter p and p makes a sound p now let's learn some words beginning with the letter p or beginning with the sound p and tell me what is this who gave us the letter p small letter p yes it's a parrot p -p parrot now tell me a farm animal with the beginning with the sound p it's a pig it's a pig pig is a farm animal p -p pig and what's the color of this pig pink p -p pink tell me what is this yes it's a picture p -p picture or you can say a pot p -p pot now tell me how will you write alphabet in the notebook with your pencil right p -p pencil p for pencil and p for pen also p -p pen and now have you seen this before in your kitchen is your mama using this kind of thing yes this is called a pan p for pan p -p pan so children these are some words beginning with the letter p or beginning with the sound p now let's learn how to trace big p and small p now let's learn how to trace big p first so this is big letter p you have to start from here make a standing line till here then a left open curve between these two lines once again how to trace big p start from here make a standing line till here then make a left open curve this is big p now let's learn how to trace small p small p we are going to start from here start from here bring down till here then same left open curve small p once again you have to start from here the second line then bring down make a standing line and a left open curve small letter p 
So children, now you have learned how to trace big P and small p. Now let's solve our second puzzle. Now children, so we are going to solve the second puzzle. Now we will choose yellow color. Okay, let's take yellow color pieces. Okay, now we will try to join this one. No, not like this. Okay, I got it. Yes, then this one. Yes, we have done it. And we got the letter Q. And we got the letter Q. And Q makes a sound Qua. Q makes a sound Qua. All of you make together Qua. Qua, Qua, Q. And where is the small letter Q? If we all make the sound together, then someone will show us the small letter Q. Qua, qua, qua. Yes, now quail is ready to show us something. Yes, we got small letter Q here on the quail. So, we got the letters big Q and small Q and both makes a sound Qua. Big Q and small Q looks different, right? But they make the same sound Qua. Now, let's learn some words beginning with the sound Qua or beginning with the letter Q. What is this? It's a bird, right? Who gave us a small letter Q? I've told you before, right? This bird's name is quail. Quail. Quail is beginning with the sound qua. Beginning with the letter Q. And we have some more pictures here. What can you see here? Yes. Doesn't she look pretty? And she even got a crown on her head. She is a queen. Qua qua queen. Queen is beginning with the letter Q or beginning with the sound qua. Now tell me what is this? It's a quail. Quail is beginning with the sound qua or beginning with the letter Q. Now I have one more picture with me. What is this? It's a quilt. Quilt is beginning with the sound qua. Quilt makes you warm during winter season, right? This is a quilt. Quilt beginning with the sound qua. Okay, children. So these are some words beginning with the sound qua or beginning with the letter Q. Now let's learn how to trace big Q and small Q. Let's start with the big letter Q. How to write big letter Q? Start from here. Make a circle like this. And a backward slanting line. Big Q. Once again, make a start from the red line. Start from here. See? Make a circle. Then a backward slanting line. Makes big Q. Okay? Now let's learn how to trace small Q. How to trace small Q? You have to start from the second line. First, make a right open curve, then a standing line, then a forward slanting line. Okay, 
start from here make a right open curve then standing line then make a slanting line like this small q big q and small q makes a sound qua so now we have learned how to trace big q and small q now let's solve the third puzzle so children we are going to solve one more puzzle mm, let me take blue one okay where are the blue ones okay i'll select only blue ones okay so you have blue puzzles here now we are going to join together to get our next letter mm, how to join this one let me try okay here i got yes now this one no so here yes now the last one yes we got a letter we got the letter r we got the letter r wow so children we got the letter r and r makes a sound r r makes a sound r now where is small letter r okay let's make the sound of r together now somebody will be giving us the small letter r all of you make the sound of r together r r r yes now rabbit is ready to give us the small letter r okay see rabbit was hiding something now he is allowing us to open yes we got the small letter r so here is our small letter r so children we have big letter r as well as small letter r both looks different right yes but they makes the same sound r and now let's learn some words beginning with the letter r who gave us a small letter r yes rabbit right and rabbit is beginning with the letter r now let's see some more words beginning with the letter r and here i have the picture of a flower now tell me what's the name of this flower yes it's a rose r r rose rose is beginning with the letter r beginning with the letter r and now we have an animal who's this tell me yes it's a rat rat is also beginning with the letter r r for rat and now we have something colorful what is this yes it's a rainbow have you seen a rainbow before Okay and how many colors are there in a rainbow There are seven colors in a rainbow Rainbow is beginning with the letter R R for rainbow and R for rain R for rain also right and we have What is this It's a ring Can you see a ring on my finger? Yes, it's a ring. R r ring. R for ring. So these are some words beginning with the letter R. Now let's learn how to trace big R and small R. Now let's learn how to trace big R first. Okay? How to trace big R first? from the top make a standing line then a left open curve 
in between two lines then a slanting line from here okay once again a standing line then a left open curve then a slanting line from here okay big letter r now let's learn how to trace small letter r how to trace start from here the second line then make a standing line then small curve like this okay small r a small standing line then a small curve small r okay children so now we have learned how to trace big r and small r now we have one puzzle left out now let's go and solve our last puzzle so children so here is our last puzzle we have to solve this only four pieces right okay now let's solve it okay we'll try to keep here no it's not fitting um, let me try this one yes it's done mm, yes i'll keep it here yes yes children now we have solved our puzzle yes we got the letter s we got our letter s so children we got our last letter of the day letter s and s makes a sound s makes a sound okay and when small letter s we have to find out small letter s right then all of you make the sound of s together s, 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 s. yes now someone is ready to give something to us now snail is ready to show which was hidden on over it okay yes we have our small letter s over the snail small letter s so children we got the letters big s and small s and both makes a sound both makes a sound now let's see some pictures or words beginning with the letter s or beginning with the sound Okay, now tell me who gives us light during daytime during daytime who gives us light yes it's a sun sun gives us light right yes sun is beginning with the sound s, 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 sun s for sun and now tell me we will take a bath using using water and soap right yes soap is beginning with the sound soap as for soap and now tell me where will you sit in your living room while watching tv on your sofa as for sofa sofa right yes. and now tell me at night what do you see in the sky twinkle twinkle little star right star star is beginning with the sound star or s4 star and tell me what is this I have taught you a rhyme on this before right what is this yes this is a snowman snowman is also beginning with the sound s, beginning with the letter s and i have something what is this it's a spoon spoon also beginning with the sound spoon or s4 spoon so these are some words beginning with the letter s now let's see how to trace big letter s 
and small letter s let's start with the big letter s how to do you have to start from the top line here then make a curve like this then you have to make the curve the opposite side okay okay see you have to start from here first make a right open curve like this then you have to make a left open curve see letter s okay, now same with the small letter also but you have to write within these two lines you have to make it small okay see start from here then make a right open curve then change it to left open curve small s okay start from here make a right open curve then change it to left open curve okay small s so children you have learned how to trace big s and small s now let's do an activity on the letters p q r and s these are the letters we learned today right we will do an activity so here we are going to do an activity on the letters p q r and s so here we are going to do a matching activity so we have some ice cream cones here with the letter p q r s and i have some scoops of ice cream also with the small letters so what we have to do here is we have to match the ice cream cones with its proper scoop of ice cream okay whoever do the matching first will get the cone ice cream come on we'll do it fast yes okay now we'll start with the letter p and where is the small letter p is the small letter p no yes here we have small letter p now we will take the scoop of ice cream and keep it on the cone so we got p p p big p and small p and now we have letter q now where is the small letter q let's try yes here we got the let small letter q and q makes the sound qua so while keeping you have to say the sound qua 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 q so we got big q and small q and next we have the letter r and where is small r yes very simple right so here we got the letter r and r makes the sound r so we are keeping small letter r so big r and small r and the last one is small s very simple so we'll keep it on the cone with big s okay so we got four ice cream cones with p q r and s and its small letters did you enjoy this matching activity yes so children did you enjoy learning the letters p q r and s so all of you have to practice writing these letters at home and that's all for today bye bye